Welcome to mParent, your mobile application portal. Find the most practical features of the parent portal in one app and get relevant notification no matter where you are. First of all, you can download the application via the App Store for iOS devices or Google Play for Androids. Once it has been downloaded, you can use the same login information as your parent portal account or use one of your social media accounts. If you haven't yet created your account, click on the corresponding link. Make sure to create your account using the email address provided at your child's school. For any assistance, you can view the login help video. Once connected, you'll be automatically directed to the notification section for one of your children appearing in alphabetical order or according to the last record viewed. However, if you click on a notification received concerning one of your children, you'll be directed to that specific information. Make a selection if necessary. Now, let's take a look at each section in Emperor. The Notification section presents your latest notification by displaying the most recent at the top. By selecting one of them, you'll be redirected to the appropriate location. The Schedule section allows you to see your child's schedule for the day. Please note that depending on the schedule configurations for elementary schools, this feature may only show you the school calendar. Use the arrows to navigate from day to day, or use the calendar icon to see the current month and make your selection. In the schedule of the day, you will find the following information for each of the periods. The name of the subject, the time, and the room number. You will find the same icons in the calendar tile of the parent portal to easily locate assessments, assignments, and accompanying notes. Use the chevron to view all the details of the period. Be aware that this information comes from your child's teachers, and they are the ones who decide whether or not to share information. In case there is no activity or no information has been shared, you will only see the name of the teacher. You can also view your child's detentions. The Absences section shows you your child's absences and late arrivals. You'll see the date, time, and reasoning. If your child's school allows it, the Notify of an Upcoming Absence button will enable you to inform the school that your child will be late or absent. First, select a date. Then, with the switch, indicate whether it will be a full day absence. If not, enter the start and end time of the absence or late arrival. Afterwards, select a reason and add details as needed. Then, confirm the absence. If your child is absent and you haven't notified the school, you will get a notification of their absence and, if the school allows it, you will be able to justify their absence or not. The Messages section includes the school board or school service centers, news releases, publication by school staff, messages concerning detentions, as well as any observation or intervention about your child that they wish to share with you. The More section offers various possibilities. Here you can see the results of the activities directly when the teachers share them with you. Select a subject. 
you will see a list of past and upcoming assessed activities that the teacher shares with you. Select an activity to see more details such as the competency assessed and the group average if available. Just as in the parent portal, you will see red indicators informing you that a new result is available. The results are also displayed in the same way as in the parent portal, i.e in percentages and in red for failing results. Clicking on a notification will take you directly to your child's results section under the subject indicated in the notification. The same applies when you click on a result notification in the notification history. The Terms Results section is located at the bottom of the list of assignment results. Please note that the Terms Results are for information purposes only. The final results are those published on the official school report card. For the report cards, you must go to the web version of the parent portal to consult them. The More section also allows you to set up notifications. Choose whether you'd like to be notified of an absence, a new account statement, a new message, and a new result for your child. Please note that these settings apply for one child and you can set different settings for each of your children. As you can see, only the schedule, absences, and messages styles of the parent portal are fully available in the application. To view the other files, use the Access Parent Portal web link and it will take you directly to the site. In fact, when you'll receive a notification for an account statement or a report card, you'll be automatically directed to the right tile. In the More section, you'll find the Help heading. It's the Frequently Asked Questions of the Parent Portal. You can also view the Mosaic Portal for Parents Help video on Greek's official YouTube channel to discover all the features of the Parent Portal. 